Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, without further ado so this is 10 Funky Facts About Skunks The skunk is a domestic cat-sized, well-furred, tiny carnivore. It has distinctive black and white patterns and the most well-known protection strategy in the animal kingdom, the ability to stink. Additionally, they are immune to rattlesnake venom, a little known but wildly impressive fact. Skunks are usually classified, since 1997, with their group Mephitidae from the word mephitical, meaning noxious vapor. Skunks, along with otters and badgers, were once considered a part of the weasel family. The new family consists of two species of Indonesian stink badgers and ten American skunks, together known as skunks in the old world. Number 1. Skunks dance to frighten predators, the stripes on a skunk's fur typically scare off predators. But when this fails, a skunk will attempt to frighten a predator with a complicated warning dance. Skunks will do various intimidating actions, like pounding the ground and slamming their tails. Small spotted skunks, for instance, perform an awkward handstand dance to avoid spraying their scent early. Spraying their scent leaves skunks defenseless until they can reload. Number 2, Skunk Stripes Draw Attention to the Spray Source A skunk's pattern seem to guide a viewer's attention to the location of its killer spray. For any approaching predators, the stripes on a skunk aren't just for aesthetic purposes, they may also serve as a direct line to the anal spray source. A 2011 study found that animals who choose to battle a predator rather than flee from it usually have marks that draw attention to their best defense. Therefore, skunk stripes are expertly positioned to showcase their potential to spray possible dangers. This is similar to badgers, who have stripes on their faces to highlight their sharp teeth. The researchers reasoned that doing this might keep them alive while minimizing their use of defense weapons. So, instead of needing to spray a predator, skunks find it better to terrify the predator with their stripes. Number 3, Skunks evolved their pungent spray as a result of their nocturnal habits. You might be wondering why skunks developed a toxic discharge as a means of defense while other species, like meerkats, depend on numerical strength. According to a 2014 study, it's more about the time of day that the possible prey is around outside. Carnivorous bird assaults are more common on awake animals throughout the day. In the case of danger, they usually depend on a lookout to scan the skies and issue warnings. Skunks, on the other hand, are solitary and nocturnal, making them more vulnerable to attacks on land. Their capacity to spray and shock predators are helpful in the event of an unexpected ambush. Number 4. Skunks are not in the same family as weasels and badgers, the family Mephitidae, which means stink, includes skunks and stink badgers. Skunks were formerly believed to be part of the Mistelidae family. However, they are not members of the Mistelidae family, which includes weasels, otters, badgers, and other related animals. Also, unlike animals in the Mistelidae family that have a duct that discharges odor markings, skunks spray their odor in a controlled path from the nipples around the anal gland. Number 5, the skunk spray is potent, skunks have a sulfur-scented defense mechanism that can project up to 10 feet from their anal glands. In addition to the spray's overpowering odor, which clings for days, or perhaps weeks, it is also highly unpleasant. It can cause nausea and briefly impair vision in anyone unlucky enough to come into contact with it. Even if you are far from the spray's source, you could still experience some adverse effects because the smell is perceptible from almost a mile away. Number 6. Skunk spray has a high ignition point, skunk spray is flammable. However, flammability is a valid indicator of a chemical weapon made of thiols, also present in garlic and onions. This is what gives these substances their sulfur-based nature. The three low molecular weight thiol molecules, E2-butene-1 thiol, 3-methyl-1-butane thiol, and 2 quinoline emethane thiol make up most of the end butyl mercaptan that skunks produce on their own. Number 7. Skunks are semi-popular pets, at the very least, skunks have a passionate domestic fan base. Over 33 states and territories prohibit the possession of skunks. Each of the remaining states and territories has laws governing the kinds of skunks pet owners can keep and the licenses required to buy one. Some who keep skunks as pets remove their scent glands. Although this removal doesn't eliminate the odor, the skunk can no longer spray a target. Interestingly, those who can keep skunks as pets are adamant about the creature's attraction. Skunk owners claim that, like every dog or cat, skunks have distinct personalities. They also are intelligent and observant. Number 8. Skunk odor can be eliminated with chemicals. If you or your dog is unfortunate enough to be sprayed by a skunk, the stench won't go away with only soap and water. Contrary to popular belief, soaking yourself or your dog in tomato juice won't remove the smell. 
All that tomato juice will do is disguise it. That would even only work for those experiencing olfactory exhaustion from exposure to skunk spray. To eliminate the stench, you must change the thiol's chemical structure, which may be done quickly and affordably using hydrogen peroxide and baking soda solution. Number 9. A skunk in a cartoon inspired the character of Captain Jack Sparrow, the skunk character in the Looney Tunes cartoon inspired a character in the Pirates of the Caribbean. As Johnny Depp admitted in 2003, he partly modeled an amorous skunk called Pepe Le Pew on his character, Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp remarked that he pictured Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean as a cross between Keith Richards and Pepe Le Pew. Number 10. Some individuals have no sense of a skunk smell at all. One in a thousand people cannot detect skunk spray. An individual who cannot smell generally is said to have congenital anosmia. However, some people can smell other things, but they cannot smell a skunk's odor at all. This inability to smell, called specific anosmia, is only related to a specific smell. Insensitivity to a specific smell is more prevalent than congenital anosmia. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.